Hi, it's Heidi with Homeschool How To again, and today we're going to talk about teaching multiple children in multiple grades. Lots of times it can be very frustrating or very overwhelming to think I have, you know, three or four children in different grades and how am I going to teach them? And so today I just want to kind of give you a few pointers, just some easy tips that will help to alleviate some stress for you. Um, first thing is to realize that you can teach several subjects for the same children, like the subjects for history, science, Bible, music, art, PE, and health. All seven of those subjects can be taught to all your children at the same time. So if you're studying the Civil War, there's no reason why you have to study the Civil War with one child and the Revolutionary War with another and the world history with another. You can all be on the same page. So if you have, this works like, if, obviously if you have a kindergarten and a 12th grader, this isn't going to work. But if you have kids that are anywhere from um, one to even four years apart in grade levels, this will work for them. Um, obviously the older children will have more that they will need to do for you, but um, your focus will be just on that one subject. So history, science, and Bible, probably you'll want to do every day with all the children. And then music, art, PE, and health you can do once a week or twice a week or whatever. And it will be much more simple for you. Um, that way you know, okay, for science, we're studying weather right now. And everybody is studying weather. They're going to be in a little bit different um, time slots. You know, some will be te learning more advanced weather type things. And maybe a kindergartner would just look at the sun. Okay, it's sunny outside today or whatever. So you'll have different varying degrees, but you'll still be able to simplify things so that you are all working on the same subject matter. Then um, if you have children where you're concerned that I don't, I can't give them the time that I need. What I did when my girls were little is they would, I would work with one and the other one would play with the youngest child. And then um, when, that, when I was finished with that one, then I would send her off, bring the other one back then the first one would play with the youngest child and I would have some time to work with with this one and then the youngest child would come and the other two could do whatever so um, you can kind of break it up that way um, make sure that your children as they're older that they're working more independently that they don't have to be so dependent on you if they can read they can do a lot of their schoolwork all on their own they should learn to be independent they should start learning that they are responsible, that you are not the person that's going to stand there and lecture them. You are not going to be on them all the time. Are you getting your work done? It's their responsibility. If they don't get it done, then they lose privileges. And, um, you know, obviously you're there to help them if, if you can or if they really need it. But don't make them dependent on you because it will make you crazy. Um, let's see. And then um, just, you know, don't worry about having so many children. They can easily study the same type subjects, kind of to reinforce all of what I've been saying. So if you have any questions, go ahead and put it at the comments down below. I will have links down there that you can go to my website. There are information there as far as um, some free homeschool ebooks, um, my email list where I share things that you don't that I don't necessarily share with anyone else. So please feel free to get the information that you need there, and I will talk to you next time. Thanks.